Hello there, I'm Ryan Liberty, and in this video, I wanted to discuss with you what are panic attacks. Let's find out. Ooh, ah. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to explain what a panic attack is here, but before I get to that, I want to first say that everything that I'm saying here is merely a description of what a panic attack is. It is not the official diagnosis for a panic attack. Um, and the only person who can diagnose a panic attack is a licensed therapist. So please do not self-diagnose and don't use the information that I'm giving you here to diagnose yourself. This is merely meant for informational purposes. Uh, I have a lot of notes down here that I'm also <laughs> reading from. So I get, get as clear information as I possibly can to you. Um, but again, I just want to reiterate, these are not the diagnostic criteria. So a panic attack is an exaggerated response to stress. It is something that happens very suddenly. Um, there's no thing that you can point to, maybe like in PTSD, you can kind of point to a trigger. That doesn't really happen with a panic attack. It just comes it comes on um, it can be a symptom of numerous disorders such as panic disorder agoraphobia or any phobic disorder and any phobia uh, but you do not have to have a disorder to have a panic attack the symptoms of a panic attack generally last approximately 30 minutes however um, the actual attack itself can be anywhere from 15 seconds to 20 minutes. It, it really varies depending on each person and each attack varies, um, but the symptoms will go on for approximately 30 minutes. And they are something that can be treated with cognitive behavioral therapy or with the medication of SSRIs. So uh, I'm going to give you an explanation of what a panic attack is, like what's actually happening here. And it starts with fear. So you have a feeling of fear which releases adrenaline into your body. Um, the adrenaline causes you to feel um, dizzy because there's less blood flow to your head. Then the adrenaline also kicks off your flight or <laughs> fight or flight response in your body. Um, which leads to rapid breathing, increased heart rate. The rapid breathing and increased heart rate lead to a drop in carbon dioxide in your lungs and then in your blood. And then that drop in your lungs and blood leads to a shift in your pH levels, which can lead to the feelings of tingling, burning, hot, and cold flashes. So that's like the cascading of events that happens when you're having a panic attack. But let's get into like, what does that experience mean? <laughs> Um, the feelings that the, the things that are happening in your body when you have a panic attack, um, there's numerous, so I'm really just going to keep looking down here at my notes. There's racing heartbeat, there's hyperventilation, which is heavy, rapid breathing, um, dizziness, there could be a flushed feeling, which can lead to tunnel vision, there could be chest pain, tingling in the extremities, your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet. Um, sweaty palms, you may feel jumpy with twitching muscles, there could be hot or cold flashes, burning sensations, um, and all of this together, uh, it, it, you're not necessarily going to experience everything all at the same time, um, or even depending on which panic attack, you could have different symptoms, but all together when you're having this feeling, it's very often mistaken for a heart attack. And that only highlights the importance that you have a trained, licensed therapist diagnose that this is a panic attack, um, or a professional uh, medical doctor, somebody who can run the test and make sure that you don't have a heart problem, because they often get confused. Uh, the thoughts that you might have running through your head when a panic attack is going on are fears, generally. So fear of losing control, you have, may have a fear that you're having a stroke and that stroke could lead to a permanent dis disability. Um, fear of having a heart attack, fear of dying, because it often feels like you're dying. It's very frightening. Uh, you had the thoughts in your head could be you're thinking you're going crazy. 
and after the attack has already passed, then you may have a lot of thoughts and fear about another attack happening because there's such a frightening experience. It's it's scary to think that it may happen again. Uh, and in the case of panic disorder, that's what characterizes the disorder is many panic attacks. So emotionally, when you have a panic attack, you're generally feeling terror. You're feeling that anxiety, that fear, that stress. Um, you may feel unreal, like you're, you're not totally attached to your body, like you're kind of witnessing all of this stuff happening. Uh, and after the attack is over, you generally will have feelings of depression and helplessness because it feels as though this thing just took over your body and there was nothing you could do to stop it because it is that cascading of events. Uh, as far as how somebody behaves when there's a panic attack, they may forget to breathe. They may deny that there's even something happening. Like, you know, I'm fine, it's okay, I'm fine. Um, and they may also feel that they want to leave the situation or they gotta get out of here um, in an attempt to control the panic attack and stop it from happening. So that was all just a good little summary of what a panic attack is. Uh, if you know somebody who's going through something like that or you yourself suspect you're going through it, again, I'm just gonna say go to a licensed therapist to confirm that you're actually experiencing a panic attack and not something like a medical problem. But they are a very frightening thing and at the same time they're also manageable with therapy and the proper medication if necessary. So thank you for tuning in and checking out this info. I hope it's helped you. Hey, it's Ryan Liberty. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and leave any questions or comments below because that would really help me out. If you find that you're stressed trying to achieve your goals, I have a free tool for you today that will help you get your goals done, so click to get that. And if you'd like to see the rest of my videos, click subscribe. As always, I want to remind you that your life matters. Nobody can question your worth. However it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay, and you are loved. Thanks again for watching.